<laughs> I'm waiting for Zoom to say, um, you are not being recorded. <laughs> I was like, waiting. Okay. So um, we just did the individual readings, and now we're going to do more of a collective reading for uh, now. This is the perfect time on the 1st of August. The month is halfway started, and it's time for us to um, keep keep working on our plans. Or even if you didn't have plans or goals to work on, maybe now it's time to start. Don't feel like you don't have enough time. Um, we are quantum beings, and we have enough time to make dent in the uh, remainder of the year and make amazing things happen. Uh, maybe you've just recently been inspired for to try something new, and I'm saying go for it. This is the perfect time. Uh, with this super moon and the sturgeon full moon, I'm not a astrologer, but we feel the energy and the love in the air and the excitement, and I'm just seeing people learning similar uh, lessons which are based on you can do it don't look outside look for the source go up to your higher self and look within and you have what it takes to get the job done that's what I'm seeing and the lesson is being universal so definitely on the channel we'll be um, interviewing people all month to talk about what what their summer plans were, where they are in completing their goals, and what changes they've been seeing over the summer. Um, but how are you doing with your self guidance? Let's go inside and find what we need to, to complete the year and make it uh, make it count. Connect with your birthright. Connect with yourself and make yourself proud. Make yourself happy. And this is your job. This is your birthright. You are entitled to feeling good feelings of love. You're entitled to positivity. You're entitled to prosperity. You're entitled to owning this life and living it in the best light and sharing that light with others. So don't hold back. And Terry, what decks are we going to use for this? Well, today, uh, so today I was guided to use the map by Colette Baron reed And the other uh, one I will use is uh, Gateway by Denise Lynn. And it's... Uh, just Erica, just adding to what you've said, um, we're at that point where we can, we're, we're, we're just, we're, we're taking a little break here and in our being and saying, okay, these were goals that I had set beginning of the year for the summer. Now, where I'm, where I'm headed, um, what do I need to know? And that's why the map was the one that, that really uh, popped out at me today. It's like when I was going to pick my cards, it was like, oh, that was the that was the first one that I chose, and then and then the gateway was the other one. So um, I think, um, you know, I I am going to take uh, three cards. But um, uh, did was there anything else you wanted to add before I started to uh, do a reading, Erica? Ma'am. It's your class now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, just as for, for our collective here, um, what is it we just generally um, need to know about our... Okay, so this one, this one popped up. This is the first one. It's, it's called the sad embrace. And it's like there's a sense of of sadness that has, um, I think, just encircled the collective because we are seeing things um, that are maybe making us feel sad and feeling uh, and and um, just uh, what's the word I'm, what I'm looking for? 
what are they wanting to say? How are they going to say? It, it's just as we look around what's happening in our neighborhoods, in our country, in the world, we're feeling a sense of sadness. And so it's embracing that, but it's it, it's embracing that sadness because that's necessary for us to move on to our next step. So it's almost like there's a completion happening. And even though we look around and we see that it's not pleasant, um, it's necessary for us to be aware of it and to realize that it is part of the process so that we can, uh, it's that, that stepping stone that will propel us into um, a different kind of an energy. So don't deny it just allow it to and if you feel sad you don't you don't have to go to a pity party just allow that feeling of sadness it may be you know at a personal level it may be relationships changing it may be you know the loss of someone or of a, of a position of a job of a home uh, don't let it overpower you just acknowledge it. And, and that's all it's asking. That's what that card is just saying, is acknowledge that there is going to be a, a sense of sadness just in general, but it's not meant to, um, it's transient. Did you, do you remember that song? Do you remember that song? We didn't start the fire. It's all been burning right. since the world's been turning. And um, yeah. that, that's what it made me think of, like, um, and he just started naming all these things that were going on in the world. And I think uh, since I've come from Egypt, that's what I'm seeing, like, oh, the prices are still going up. This is happening. That's happening. But, okay, turn your head back to where you were going and what you were doing mm -hmm. and what your goals are and how you were going to make a difference and keep focusing on that thing. Come back into your little universe, your universe, and keep your eyes on that and tr um, just try not to be overwhelmed by what's going on in the news because it's chaos. But um, but we've already, we already know, we already know where this is going. This is for us to come into a new era of change, but it has to, you know, it's hard to witness collapse, but we have to see collapse before we see the changes that we want to implement. So. So, so the three cards that I selected was the, the gentle gardener, cleaning house and details, details. So I'm going to go through these in, in the sense of, okay, the gentle gardener, it, she's watching as the new, the new growth is happening. So the seeds have been planted and they are starting to incubate. But before the incubation starts, they're still cleaning house. And we can see that on a worldwide basis, we can see that the house is being cleaned and where are we being bombarded with is details, details, details. So what we have to, and then that's where the sad embrace comes in because we're starting to see all the details of what's happened. And it's like, oh, it can be overpowering, but it's about, again, it's about cleaning house. That stuff has been going on. Everything that's been going on has been there for a long time. It's now coming to the surface, so it's cleaning. And we're starting to see all of the details of, of things. And it's just like we had closed the curtains. And, you know, the stuff that we're seeing, all the details, has been there all along. It's just that we had didn't have that awareness. Um, and as you start cleaning a house, what do you do? You're letting in the light. You're starting to see what was behind the curtains, what was underneath the bed. And so those things are starting to be brought out. But remember, we have the seeds for the, um, the gentle gardener. So it's all, this is all necessary in order for this, this growth card to happen. So just be aware 
from that collective point that this is what we're going through. And so whether we look at it as society, but there's the macrocosm and the microcosm, which is us. So within our own lives, we've planted seeds for a new future. There's still house cleaning that we've had to do. And we got to look at details. And maybe it means going into the closet and going through all those papers that you've been procrastinating doing. Right. So those are the details that we have to just release. And, you know, as we as we go through things in our own life, yeah, there's going to be memories that that may bring back a sense of sadness or, or, or whatever. Um, but know that we're on a trajectory for that, that uh, what the seeds that we've been planting. So this time for us is you know over the next few months is being able to clean that house let go of those things whether it's belief systems whether it's uh, furniture <laughs> whether it's relationships letting that just cleaning that out getting rid of the details and um you know yes feel feel that sense of loss or the sadness that that comes with it but don't let it overtake you it's only a passing phase because our um what we have coming in the future is much higher frequencies and energies and um go ahead i'm gonna say Erica, this to bring to bring that same message in on an individual, on a micro, instead of a macro level, you are the seed. Yeah. You're gardening you. You've been planted and you are growing. Be gentle with yourself. And when you have new seeds, right, you got to make sure you put it in the light. You got to make sure it gets enough water. You got to be at the right temperature. So create the environment that you need as the new seed to grow and develop the way you need to. But at the same time, you're gentle, right? You don't, you don't, uh, you know how you can hang a bulb on a Christmas tree, right? Because that's a fully grown tree. Well, you don't take a sapling and start hanging balls on it because it'll bend the tree. It'll even break it. So don't put too much on yourself. Nurture yourself, love yourself. Next, you are cleaning house, right? There's some shit you got to work on, right? Forgiveness, um, forgiving yourself, loving yourself, um, removing people out of your space that are actually hurting you and harming you and not allowing you to be in the light. You don't have to hate them, but you do need room and space to grow and you don't have to feel bad about not, um, about self-loyalty, about loving yourself. Do what you have to do to love yourself and give yourself space and room to grow. Even, you know, sometimes we even have our kids, right? There's a lot, you know, you can't have so much, you know, voices. Sometimes you have to withdraw from your own children just to give yourself space to be quiet and perform these acts of self-love, whether it be baths or, or uh, meditations or, you know, whatever, sound healings, things like that. So now you're, it's time for you to sweep around your front door with some things that have been bothering you, nagging you, sitting in the background during your time of growth that you really need to go ahead and tackle because you've been avoiding taking care of these issues. So sweep around your front door, this cleaning house thing, and get ready. Get your house ready because you got a new guest coming. So some of us physically got some new people coming into our lives. But the new you is coming. That's who's coming. The new you is manifesting. Clean your house up and make space for the new you that's coming. This is what you're doing. You planted the seed for the new you, right? You've, you've, you've been working on yourself and allow this manifestation of this new you, the new parts of you, the missing parts that are now, the fragments that are healing coming into this new self and allow yourself a new fresh space with a new fresh look and new ideas and new friends, new thoughts, new patterns, because you're going to be getting rid of some old patterns and creating new patterns, patterns that are going to help you be successful and it's going to help you um, employ these new ideas, whether it be books. Some people want to start schools. Some people want to start channels. Maybe you just want to live a better life. Whatever it is that you're trying to welcome into your life, 
now make room for this new being to anchor itself in. So that's where I see also inside these cards. And so I'm just going to add from the gateway. There were two cards that fell out. Breaking barriers. I am expanding beyond limitations into joy and freedom. So just like what Erica was saying, you know, when a seed is breaking through the soil, when it's growing, you know, it's going to break through that top of the soil. There may be a crust and and how it breaks through. We don't know what it's going to maybe you know, it, it's it's growing in whatever way. So we may have expectations, but um, as you can see here, the, the, it's, it's going to grow in whatever direction it is. And eventually it's going to straighten out. So we may see our path going one way, but the seed is going to grow in a, in a direction that it's, it's going to find its way to find its stability. So we have, um, we have, to not judge ourselves. And sometimes we um, we are our worst critics as we judge ourselves. And we have to release that judgment because um, the seed that we planted is got its potential and it's moving towards that. How it gets there, we just have to nurture it and nourish it and make sure that it's getting watered and getting fed and getting the sunlight because it is growing. And so um, it's going to have that joy and freedom. And the other card was cherish, cherishing self. I love, I accept and love myself. And so whatever comes before us, we have to remember to cherish ourselves. And, you know, that divinity within us, we just have to just allow it and let go of judging yourself, judging the situation. It's about your expansion and your um, connection with the with the source and just cherish that you are a unique um, expression of the source. I think it's amazing that it stuck with plants being rooted and it starts from a seed again. So here you are as the seed and taking care of yourself. Um, but uh, I love the thing about how it bursts through the soil because, you know, the germination for some things, um, some plants is even five years, like for a bamboo. So the roots will grow down deep, 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 and you won't see any action until the fifth year. And all of a sudden it'll spring up six feet tall. So, where it seems like the seeds pop up overnight, we're not seeing the work that's underneath the soil. But then all of a sudden, when you think that you're just like, this isn't working, and you'll see the magic in your life when it looks like overnight your life is changing, right? But then also the last card that you had, it was the dinner table. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about fruit. So now you're you're going to also eat the fruit of your labor. It's time for you to enjoy the fruit of your labor once this is all done. So you're going to actually have a sweet taste in your mouth when you begin to see those results and just continue. Look at that. Cherishing yourself, loving yourself. Self-loyalty is you, you have the right to self-loyalty. You have the right to love yourself, nurture yourself, and protect yourself, okay? So I, I just thought that was a cool, cool card and how this whole reading has come together. These aren't, you know, it's a random choosing of cards, but when you look at these cards, there's nothing random about it at all. It's one singular, beautiful message. Yeah, and I will will post these on the on the site. So so take a moment and just you know look at them and then say what else is there a message for me in them you know and just trust your intuition because you'll get you might get a hit I mean uh, more than what what we have said but it it's just it's really interesting to this is a general but see what it also uh, may say to you.
Oh, your your volume's off, Erica. So we're gonna put this on the Women of the Stars channel. If whatever resonates, if you get an aha moment, post it, post it, let us know, give us a thumbs up, like, and share because people need this message, people need encouragement. Because you know, as I'm hearing sirens going down the street and lights flashing and and stuff going on on the news, people need this encouragement. So let's share it, all right? Um, and we're gonna end there.